After the Battle of Our Hearts, Superman vs. Batman, there is a new competition in town. The Titans of Thunder are here. While keeping in perspective, what superheroes have both of these Titans defeated? And how do their strength and experience compare? We'll give you a quick rundown of DC's Black Adam vs. Marvel's Thor. Who would win? So, hold tight and watch till the end to know who is going to take the Thunder Trophy home. Now, firstly, what powers do Marvel's Thor possess? Most people know who Thor Odin is thanks to the MCU, but did you know that Thor's possession of a pure heart gives him the ability to wield his Mjolnir, the mighty Yuru Hammer? Smashing foes here and there, the hammer helps him fly and call upon lightning. The King of Asgard can summon the hammer no matter what multiverse he is on, which allows him to master some of the most useful powers against his enemies. A leader and a skilled swordsman, Thor can use his enchanted hammer to generate energy blasts, known as anti-force. With the capacity to call all upon lightning even with his hands. The son of Odin can summon rain, wind, and thunder too. Manipulating weather patterns is a bonus to other powers that Mjolnir impose, such as longevity of godhood and the ability to open portals to other dimensions and realms. Coupled with all these extraordinary powers, Thor can also fly by controlling the wind beneath him. He is the master of elemental manipulation, which gives him agility, durability, and extra flight. Now Thor does seem like an undefeated defeatable champion, let's take a look at DC's Black Adam's strengths before we reach a verdict. What powers do DC's Black Adam possess? An ancient Egyptian hero turned villain, Black Adam, also known as Mighty Human, possesses a multitude of superhuman powers. The wisdom of the Egyptian god of learning grants Black Adam the ability to learn things quicker than others, which ultimately gives him an edge in battle planning with enhanced senses. Paired with this, the stamina of Shu bestowed upon him by the Egyptian god of air and light allows Adam to fight without any need for sustenance. Unlike Thor's potential to maneuver air, Black Adam can resist the planet's gravity, which means he can also fly. And yes, this ability can be attributed to the Egyptian god of the sky, Horus. If we wonder about the best superhuman power that Black Adam has, we conclude that it's the mesmerizing caliber of casting magic spells. Since Teth Adams extracts powers from the Egyptian gods, he can hocus pocus anyone whenever he wants by calling that power from the gods. Other than all these astounding prowesses, Black Adam also has the courage of Mahan, which implies that he is bulletproof and can withstand explosions of really high potential. Comparable to Thor, Black Adam can also manipulate lightning. A fun fact about this faculty is that just by yelling Shazam, Black Adam can call down lightning and shoot electroblasts. With all this perspective and mind-blowing powers, let us take a sneak peek at the past victories of these thunder gods. Stick around because we're about to get to the best part, Thor or Adam. Who wins the ultimate battle? What victories does Marvel's Thor have under his belt? From the crossovers comic, we find out that Thor has beaten up quite a few of his competitors. One of these earth-shaking victories is defeating X-Men's meanest mutant. It plays out mostly like the titular fight in Batman vs Superman. Thor crushes Wolverine with his unmatched brute strength, lightning, and hammer game. Wolverine only gets a few punches in here and there. Keeping in mind, the Incredible Hulk is the strongest being in the entire Marvel Universe. Nothing can kill him. Yet, somehow, Thor has been able to defeat Hulk on multiple occasions. Thor Ragnarok fans can attest to this that Hulk versus Thor battles in one of the epic battles of all. Giving due credit to Hulk, the fights are fairly dead speed at some times. Thor emerges victorious on his good days and sometimes Hulk. A pretty impressive feat for Hulk, I must say. The easiest victory for the God of Thunder, nonetheless still fun to watch as the Civil War fans would know, was when Thor effortlessly struck Iron Man with his hammer and lightning and tossed him through the buildings. Not to put a cherry on top, but the only reason Tony made it was because Thor had more pressing matters to attend. We love the legendary Tony Stark, but we are powerless over the strength of the striking God of Lightning. What victories does DC's Black Adam have under his belt? Giving a fair chance to both, we'll have you know that Black Adam of DC is also a force to be reckoned with in his universe. And when one is as powerful and brutal as Black Adam, fights can turn into ugly, bloody affairs. One of the few victories that Black Adam has under his belt includes the titanic crushing of Shazam. Both of the heroes are almost equal in power, but Adam's prowess over magic and pathological resilience always allow him to emerge as the winner in this battle of heroes. The leader of JSA, Hawkman, has also not escaped the wrath of mighty Adam. When one is as 
as powerful and brutal as Black Adam, fights can turn into ugly bloody affairs. In a hypothetical scenario, Black Adam can also take on a few of the Marvel heroes. Even though Black Adam is a textbook anti-hero, having the strength of God would allow him to conquer Deadpool, Cyclops, and even our hardy Captain America. How do the strength and speed of both heroes compare? Black Adam is not your average superhuman when it comes to the test of strength. Blessed with the powers of six gods, he has force strong enough to lift 100,000 tons, which far exceeds almost anything else in the comic world. Coupled with this, Mighty Adam has strength levels that are comparable to Superman because not even a Kryptonian can overpower the ancient Egyptian. On the other hand, Thor is blessed with Asgardian physiology, meaning he is immeasurably strong enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Incredible Hulk, exhibiting a strength level that exceeds 100 tons in Marvel. Now for speed. Black Adam comes with the blessing of Heru, who is known for his swiftness. This swiftness allows him to fly at speeds of Mach 10 while on Earth, and while in space, he is just a lightning bolt. The protector of realms, Thor, is gifted with the Asgardian physique of swiftness and speed. But that is not all. His mighty hammer, Mjolnir, grants him the capacity to move at speeds of Mach 32. Can you imagine? This allows Thor to be a vision to behold, but also travel from planet to planet effortlessly. Thor's Asgardian physiology allows him to run faster than regular humans and move at the swiftness and speed that surpasses most Asgardians because he is simply physically gifted. On top of that, whenever he is flying with Mjolnir, he can move at speeds of Mach 32. This allows Thor to move from one place to another without much difficulty, especially whenever he is traveling from planet to planet in space. How do the durability and experience of both heroes compare? Black Adam, our god-blessed hero, has the stamina of Shu that allows him to battle without a hint of fatigue for a long time. With as advanced musculature as this Egyptian, you can go on for days without any rest, food, or any kind of sustenance. The cherry on top is that he can withstand any injuries as he heals quicker than any other existence in the comic world. In the MCU, Thor is one of the most durable characters as he is the most physically gifted as guardian of all times. Be it multiversal beings or cosmic entities, Thor can take them all. Lastly, we cannot argue the fact that experience triumphs over all. We do know that all of these mighty superheroes are ancient. It would be fair to say that both Black Adam and Thor have been around for quite a long time. The origins of Adam can be traced back to ancient Egypt where he was the defender of his nation, of Kandak, fighting alien invasions solely and single-handedly. Thor, on the other hand, is a frontline fighter that has amassed hundreds of years of experience preventing wars and keeping the peace within the Nine Realms. And now, for the real question that we have all been painstakingly waiting for. Who takes the throne home in a battle? Adam. Without denying the fact that this battle would shake the heavens and earth, there is no doubt that Thor would emerge victorious after all. And we've got reasons. Thor has defeated Captain Marvel and Wolverine, whereas we know Captain Marvel has beaten Black Adam on several occasions. And he doesn't stand a chance against Wolverine either. With the Uru hammer and ability to control lightning and thunder, the Odinian sun can triumph over all. God bless Black Adam, quite literally. A battle between super beings would be an awesome sight to watch, and we cannot wait for the crossover. We believe Thor would take Black Adam by the horns ultimately. Who do you think would prevail? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.